Foreign body obstruction is an acute, life-threatening situation occurring in both children and adults. The adults often have sprayed food particles, mainly if are drunken, while children most commonly have sprayed a part of their toy or various nuts. The vocal cords are the narrowest part of airway in adults, while in the children it is a level of cricoid cartilage. Distally to that narrowest part, the airways are getting broader, so the internal diameter of trachea is about 20 mm in adult patient. A foreign body obstruction is usually even worsened by concurrent laryngospasm. Foreign body obstruction treatment varies according to the severity of obstruction. The symptoms of a partial obstruction are cough and strider with an inspiration. If the victim is able to breathe, no further action is performed because it can make situation worse. If the obstruction is complete, the victim can't breathe or cough and after a short time is getting unconscious. Emergency medical services are contacted immediately. All maneuvers are based on the principle of intrathoracic pressure rise and thus foreign body is exposed by the stream of expired gas. Series of back blows is the safest approach. Both abdominal thrust and chest compressions could lead to a serious injury of intra-abdominal organs. Therefore, back blows are indicated as a method of choice in pregnant women, extremely obese people and infants. Heimlich maneuver consists of forceful pressure on upper abdomen, which pushes diaphragm upwards rapidly. If the victim is still conscious, we stand behind him and put both arms around the upper part of his abdomen and pull our hands sharply upwards and downwards. Even if the foreign body is expelled, the patient should be always examined by a physician because of risk for intra-abdominal organ damage. The same effect is achieved by chest compression. If the victim is already unconscious, full basic life support with CPR is initiated. In terminal stadium, laryngospasm sometimes relieves and foreign body is expulsed. The infants are placed face down over our hand, a forearm with head and neck supported. Forceful back blows are delivered. In unconscious infant, emergency CPR is started.